I don't usually make videos like this, just because I feel like I'm usually never in a position where I'm able to criticize someone because it always comes with a certain level of hypocrisy, and sometimes I just come across as being desperate and pathetic. But in this case, I don't think I am going to be experiencing that at all. In fact, I think I'm actually going to be planes higher than wherever this dude is. He goes by the name of Kobe, better known as Kobe Blocks. You'll notice that there's a certain amount of cleavage in the thumbnails, also being combined with the cartoony aspect of uh, his Roblox avatar. This is basically porn being advertised towards children. And this is what he's being uh, under fire for recently by a bunch of YouTubers. Not just Roblox YouTubers, but like other mainstream YouTubers as well, uh, which is actually kind of crazy. You know, I might not be as successful as him, but the one thing that I do have though is dignity. And I would never ever stoop this low to include a fucking girl showing her titties in a thumbnail of a fucking Roblox video for fucking children. How shallow are you, honestly? Like, is this person even real? I don't think he's a human. This is especially made so from his Twitter post, which I had the unfortunate experience of having to uh, read through. And oh boy, it's a doozy. But another reason why uh, he's getting like made fun of by a bunch of people and getting called out for is because uh, he dropped out of high school at the age of 16 to make Roblox skibbity toilet tower defense videos on. Are you that fucking stupid? Probably. Because judging from his Twitter posts, he seems to also be like an Andrew Tate supporter. And you guys know how Andrew Tate is, he's not exactly the, the best role model. In his eyes, he's a role model. Like, look, since he was 12, he knew he'd never work a job. By the age of 14, he was doing all this shit. Then in a couple of days, he started earning like thousands of dollars or some shit. And then he dropped out. I want to take you on a timeline of when he posted that, when he announced his dropping out. Maybe he dropped out like earlier, I don't know. But I'm just gonna assume that he dropped out on April of 2024. Now, we start over here. You'll notice that after he made that post, there's a significant decline of his views. Not only views, but also subscribers. Look at that! I I got more subscribers than this idiot in the month of August alone. Now, yeah, you could say that that was because he did not post any videos from uh, July to um, well, when he started becoming a fucking incel. Actually, I think he was always an incel, but now he just started becoming a lot more confident about it. What a brave man. Yeah, look, he dropped out at 16. 16! When I was 12, I thought of dropping out so that I could do YouTube. Then my parents realized how stupid I was and started giving me the ass whooping of my life. This guy was 16, and he thought that he could do it. It's clear that he couldn't. Because by the time he did drop out, he realized that, oh shit, you know, this wasn't working. So, you gotta get the tits out. You know what's even crazier? This guy actually like advertises um, this girl's like OnlyFans. So not only is this guy inherently stupid and also probably a predator, but he's also a fucking incel. Now here's the timeline, right? So he starts making shitty videos on these shitty games, right? He dropped out at some point in April. His channel was rapidly dying. So he became clinically depressed and decided to stop uploading videos to basically reflect on his life. At this point, he could have basically turned his life around, you know, he could have gotten a job, or maybe go back to high school, because most jobs usually need like a high school diploma in order to, um, you know, get hired at. But, instead, he started watching heavy amounts of porn. Not just porn, but porn and hentai. And when that got too much for him, he realized that he didn't want to watch them getting fucked anymore. He wanted to personally touch and feel them because real people lovingly get together and love each other and feel each other and fuck each other and kill each other and eat each other. <laughs> After that point, he said to himself, I can't take it anymore. I need to have that pussy. That pussy. Can I have pussy? I'm quite sure he literally said that when he was like watching those videos. And then he thought to himself, wait a minute. I can make the worst financial decision possible. I can pay an OnlyFans model to fuck them. So that's what he did. And then he looked at his bank account and he was like, Oh shit, I spent so much money on that tight ass. My money's looking tight as well. 
So he thought, what was the best way in order to get the most money possible? He looked back to YouTube and decided, hey, you want to flash your tits out in a video? Or in playing an online children's game catered towards children? And he thought of that idea, and not even a second in, he locked into that idea, and he said, yes. So when he came back, he did this shit, and it got kind of viral. So then he tested like a few ideas. That video did shit. That video did poorly. It's the videos where my quote-unquote girlfriend is showing her tits is where the, all the views are at. Well, guess what, fucking retard? When you do that, cater towards children, you're bound to get backlash. And thank God, this guy actually had limited monetization on his videos. He deserves to actually have, like, limited monetization because of what he's doing. The things that he's doing are so deplorable, it's actually, like, crazy. Also, on his Twitter, he keeps on saying that he's like the Sigma or the fucking Alpha Wolf, the lone Alpha Wolf. Yeah, at first, I, I think he was doing it ironically, but at some point, when he became like a Tate supporter, he started to unironically believe that he was the lone Alpha Sigma male wolf, and that all the girls in the world had to reproduce with him. I looked at him, and uh, I don't, I don't know about you, but he doesn't look like a male Alpha Sigma wolf, okay? I'm not sure girls would look at him and say, Oh, I want to fuck this guy. Now, yes, I'm being hypocritical, because way uglier than him. But unlike him, I have self-awareness. I know the limits of my reach. And I don't go online saying that I'm the fucking Sigma male wolf and that I am here to dominate the world. Also, let's talk about his ego. Because he seems to have a lot of arrogance and ego when it comes to his Twitter account as well. He keeps on talking about business and saying how he's better than everybody else, right? Like, this is a post that he made in July 2nd. And he's tweaking out over this, like, graph. When it's clearly, like, an increase from, like, one cent to two cents a month, you know? Let me tell you this. If his arrogance and ego doesn't stop now, and he wants to keep on chasing that bag, because at some point, his gimmick of putting OnlyFans models in the thumbnail is going to stop working. And eventually, he's going to think of even crazier ideas to the point where he's going to probably, like, film a dead body in the forest like Logan Paul did. So, to uh, sum everything up, Kobe, you are dumb. It is the exact opposite. Now, this can play out either two ways. He could either, you know, drop the fucking arrogance and ego and all this Tate bullshit and go back to being like a decent human being, or he could continue to become the garbage person that he is and just suffer an endless downward spiral until he becomes insane and becomes homeless and dies in the street alone. I mean, at least he died knowing that he was the lone Alpha Sigma male wolf. But when you look at the grand scheme of things, was it all worth it? Maybe for him, but to me, I think he's missing the bigger picture here. Anyway, this guy sucks. That's about it.